should have heard the fussing that was happening when I came outside this morning. Why you guys gotta poop in your water? It has to be low to the ground so waffles can reach it. Link, why you gotta poop in it? Somebody would very much like some milk. All right, girls, are you ready? Come on, girls. It's okay. <laughs> Tell her big pizza. Keep going. Come on, babies. Come on. It's okay. Good girl. <laughs> Come on, bye-bye. Mom needs to protect you from, from danger. There you go. Stands here and guards the gate and headbutts all the girls that want to go through. Why? Because I can't. Uh, good morning, kitties. Good morning. Mom really needs to get in the routine of bringing your cat food out, doesn't she? So I put that toad in there last night to keep them dry, and that severe storm went just west of us. We got maybe 10 minutes of some kind of not even heavy rain. So all that rushing around that I did last night didn't even matter. It did because it did rain and it lightning, and it, we didn't need to be outside. Kitties. Okay. Mama will bring you some food, I promise. You guys have some dry food in there you could eat. Meatball. Hi, Tito. All right, we're going out to the backyard today. So, no brekkie for goats yet. Good morning. That's Pepper. Hi, buddy. Hi, Bernie. So today, a lot of you guys have been asking me to slow down my milking routine instead of speeding it up and kind of show what I do. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm also gonna see how Pixie does without her legs tied. It's only been maybe like two or three weeks, but we're gonna see how that works. I don't think it's gonna work very well. She kicked a lot yesterday. We're just gonna kind of test it out and see how she is. So before we get started, I wanted to show you guys my setup. I use a milk machine, a pump, not really a milk machine. I have baby wipes. You need something to clean the udder with. I have a strip cup. My system uses a mason jar setup. There are lots of systems that do. This is a frozen lunch bag. So like it's got like frozen, like a ice pack and there's an ice pack in there to get the milk cold. Cause I'm going to make yogurt today and I want my milk to be cold. These are the teacups. And I use a Dancha Farms Brute pump system. So this is my pump. And you just hook your system in. And then I have a pedal attached to mine so that I don't have to use my hands so that I can turn the pump on and off with my foot so that it stays on the floor and it just gives me two hands that are free. You want goat milk to get cold as fast as possible because if not, it gets that goaty flavor.
So that went really well, other than kicking at the end with the hand milking. So probably continue to tie her up for another couple of weeks, but it does look like it's working and she's doesn't kick as much. Okay, I'm gonna show you my process with Nani because she's really easy one to show you. It's always important, you know, to walk their head in. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is wash her teats and udder, and you really wanna make sure the tip of the teat is clean. And also any part that the milk machine is gonna touch. And I just use baby wipes because they're cheap and easy. And then we're gonna do our first squirt into the strip cup. And when you're milking, and I'll try to show you left-handed here, when you hand milk, you wanna grab high above the, uh, of the teat and squeeze and pinch off, basically. So you're closing that off, and then you're just gonna press into the teat. You're not pulling, you're just squeezing. Not hard, it doesn't take a lot of pressure, but you're just making sure to pinch that off and then just kinda push in with your fingers and squeeze. And it's a different muscle, so it does take some getting used to and I use the milk pump, so I probably couldn't hand milk. All my girls, I don't have the hand strength. But you don't wanna tug, they're not gonna like that, and that's not gonna get you any milk. It's a pinch and squeeze, pinch and squeeze. So I'm gonna turn my pump on, and I'm gonna take my teat cups and put them over my teat. You can see pretty good suction. And it's gonna take just a second, and the milk will start flowing. You can see the milk flowing down into the lines. It's kind of harder to see, but there's milk flowing. So, Nani's a pretty light producer. So that's all that the pump is gonna get, just flowing. And milk is gonna flow pretty easily. And this goes a little bit faster than hand milking, just using that suction to kind of get as much as the milk out. I'm not squeezing hard. I'm just kind of gently massaging. Nani has very tiny teat orifices, so her um, milk doesn't come out very fast. So this is helpful for me to not have to hand milk her. And then I'm gonna take one, one teacup and I'm gonna hand milk into the teacup. Let's see if I can do it left-handed so you can see. I'm not very good at left-handed. But just squeezing it into the teacup until she's completely empty, so until she's not giving me any more milk. And you can see she still has quite a bit of milk left. And then I'm gonna massage her udder. They hold back milk, so it's always important to kind of massage the udder a little bit to make sure you're getting all of the milk. And that's it, you can also use an iodine or a teat dip. I just tend to, my girls stay pretty clean. We don't have issues with mastitis. I use moisturizing baby wipes. My girls don't have dry udders, but in the winter we would definitely use some udder balm to help keep them, their skin nice and, and moist. You ready to go? So it looks like everybody already went through today. They didn't wait on me. Calendar mom. Calendar mom. Wish I could convince her to drink out of the water bucket that I keep so fresh in her pen for her. So if you guys have questions about milking, uh, if there's something I didn't cover enough, I just kind of did a little quick run through. But if there's something else that you want to know, just leave me a comment and I'll try to answer it or try to show you in another video. Uh, milking's not really a complicated process. You just kind of have to get used to it after a while. And all the things that I use to milk are linked in the description. My pump and all those things are linked um, down in the description below.
looks like the polar bear. I think he just wants to come in this area and take a poop every day. Hopefully next day or so we're gonna rotate the heifers back out here. This grass has gotten nice and long. I mowed our yard yesterday and now you can really see how it's grown up. We're hoping they were gonna eat up this hay that was left from the big cows and the calves that we just sold. Come on, breakfast! Good morning, pretty girl. Come on, Gabo. Let's have breakfast. Good morning, piggy piggies. Good morning. You guys ready for breakfast? Ready for breakfast? Tomorrow is the day that we take Toonie to get her ultrasound. And guys, I'm gonna be so sad if she's not pregnant. We need to know, because if she's not pregnant, then the best thing to do would be to separate her and pork chop for a few weeks so that they miss each other and then put them back together. We've definitely seen her go into heat, so I know that that's fine. I just don't know. Hopefully she's pregnant. She kind of looks pregnant. This is what he has done every day, has found these dirt piles and climbed up them. Cheeto. Better get in there, buddy. Brace have some breakfast. Anything else, Big Big? That's some old milk that was frozen. It's not quite as much as they're used to, but I'm using the fresh milk today, so they have to help me get rid of this old stuff. I bought some collars for Padme and Tinkerbell, because they're my only two girls that don't have collars. And then I realized this morning that Pixie has lost her collar, so. For now, I'm gonna put these on Tink and Padme, but if I can't find her collar, then I'll probably take off Tink and put it on her. She has to have a collar, because she's a milker, and it just doesn't work, does it, best friend? That collar is giant on Tink, 
So the one that I bought Pixie is actually smaller. If I find it, we may go ahead and just swap those out anyway. Look at Padme, doesn't she look pretty in her red collar? Tinkerbell in blue. Thought blue would look nice on her black. Those dog collars, I just set them really loose. So if they got hung up, they could just pull their head out of them, which is why Pixie probably has lost hers, is that she scratched on something and it got hung up and she just worked it off. Oh, there it is. Looky there. See? So it got hung up and she was able to get out of it. But you can see this one is a lot smaller. So even though it's kind of gross and old, we'll put it on tape and we'll put the blue one on Pixie. Not as pretty, but it fits better. Where have you been? Hmm? Huh? I'm just a neighborhood cat, aren't you? Not really mine. Just a little bit, just a snack. Not very much. Not very much. Come on, Link. You're not gonna eat your dinner? Hmm? Huh? Did you mind? I think they've been getting good and full. Staying in here and eating. Cheeto? Or is this what happens when mom doesn't directly bring out cat food? They're getting so cute and big and full of personality. Okay, let's get you some cat food. All right, let's let you guys in. All right, kitties. Good night. Where are you going, meaty? Tommy, what are you doing? Hmm? What you doing, Domino? Let's go have dinner. You guys have turned the bucket over. Have a zucchini. Mm -hmm. That's what we got, bro. Don't forget, tomorrow's video is going to be Toonie's ultrasound. We're taking her in the morning. It's a baby total disaster. Hoping that we're going to at least find out if she's pregnant or not. So don't forget to watch tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you know every time we put out a new video. We love you guys, we appreciate all the things that you're doing, commenting and subscribing, thumbs ups, all the things. Thanks for watching us, and we will see you in the next video.